coming. The horses in town. There must be a big meeting. I guess it ain't broke up yet. Well, there you have it, men. We can't promise that nobody will get hurt. But we aim to bring things to a showdown where we'll have at least an equal chance. Are you for it or not? I think it's a good idea, men. All right. Back to Doc here. Meeting's adjourned. You did a good job, Ryder. What you get? I really think we got somewhere. They told me I was a doc here. Right here, my friend. I was riding through to Denver and rubbed up a foil, wondering if you could get rid of it for me. No, oh, I might have to last it. Come to my office. How's the road to Lava Basin? Awful unhealthy. What's taking you to Lava Basin? I'm locating these folks on homesteads there. Well, I wouldn't advise you to do that, mister. The basin's a death trap. The only advice I'm asking is the condition of the road. Well, the road's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, I remember you. You're the fellow that located those nesters in the basin before the war. I don't suspect you've been in touch with them since, have you? If they needed me, they had my address. What would you have done? All the likes of you give the hangabout is the fees you get. Some of those nesters you left here before are dead now. That doesn't matter to you, does it? Who are you? A cattleman? Yes, ma'am. You're wasting your breath. We were warned you tried to scare us out. But neither you nor all the cattlemen in Wyoming can. It appears somebody has given you the notion all cattlemen are goblins, miss. No, just scarecrows. Well, in the basin, miss, you'll have a lot worse to figure with than scarecrows. You fellows haven't got a chance in Lava Basin. It's been taken over by a bunch of cutthroats whose business isn't raising cattle, but rustling them. They're using it for their hideout, and they don't want company around. They didn't stop short of murder to get other nesters out, and you can be sure they won't have any more regard for you. We haven't time to listen to fairy tales. Get on your wagons, men. We're pulling out. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? If you take these folks into the basin, they'll be murdered just like the others were before. from cattlemen. Of course, if you're afraid, I'll... Afraid? Nobody's afraid of any cattleman, especially him. All right, let's get going. Ask anybody in town. No use, Red. The only way to talk to some folks is to let them find out for themselves. Cow! Get out! of nesters is headed this way. The doc says the best way to stop them is to hit them before they get here. Saddle up your horses. Hurry it up. Let's get out of here. Come around the bend.
Well, like we showed them. It's a cattleman. What happened if you'd listened when I tried to warn you in town? Now maybe you'll come down off your high horses. Why you? Shooting at people and then crying about it. All right, if you want to be that loco, I give up. Guess that'll teach you there's some nests that cattle and cats scare. Wait a minute. There's been some trouble out in the road to Lava Basin. I'm afraid those homesteaders that passed through town today got shot up pretty bad. You don't mean to spin another gunfight. The wrestlers must have heard they were coming. You ought to go out there. Some of those folks may need your help. Well, yes, only don't you think the homesteaders will turn back to town? Not if that female wildcat that's with them has her say. She sure got her dander up. What makes you think so? A magazine full of rifle slugs he shot at me. And all I aimed to do was help. She's the most unreasonable filly I've ever laid eyes on. Mightn't she start shooting at me, too? Just holler loud enough and let her know you're not a cattleman before you get in range. I'll drop out there and see if I can be of any help. Looking to Mr. Clark's map, that last creek we crossed is where government land begins. Now all we have to do is start measuring from there and stake out our claim. That is, if we don't have any more trouble with the cattle. Well, just let him try and stop us. I'm a doctor. I heard you'd run into trouble and thought you might need medical help. Come on down. You all watch your steps. It may be a trick. Howdy, ma'am. Hello. Well, this is very thoughtful of you, doctor. There's only one person that got shot bad, and he's in the second wagon. Well, I'll look at him right away. Oh, no, you needn't. He's uh, already dead. Oh, that's too bad. The only other casualty is my brother over there. A bullet grazed his arm. Well, perhaps i better take a look at it. Oh, it's nothing much. It'll heal itself up in a couple of days. Maybe, but you can't afford to take chances with these wounds. They're sometimes deceiving. Uh, a little disinfectant should fix that up. Who told you to come out here? Nobody. It was my own idea. There was word around town that the cattlemen had already given you a small sample of what to expect. Seemingly, they've made up their minds to drive you out. Is that why you came out here? To tell us that? Oh, no. Certainly not. All that I know is what I gathered from a lot of loose talk. Well, there's no loose talk about this. We intend to fight it out on this line. It takes all summer. Now, sis, there's no sense in just asking for trouble. We're not asking for it. But we're not running away from it either, Ted. Get that word around town, Doctor. Tell them if they strike, we strike back. And we'll give them just as good as we take. Please, now. I'd rather be left out of this. How does that feel? All right, I guess. Fine. Well, I'd better hurry along now. I have other patients to care for. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. From a fight with Nestor, the cattlemen might steal a mark and get their stock out the mark. Right now, it's better as it is. As what is? Leave the fight be between the nesters and the ranchers. That'll give us the free hand. Then when the time comes, it'll be simple for us to do whatever we want to. I did my best to explain that you cattlemen had nothing to do with the attack, Ryder, but I couldn't make the girl listen. A man as sick as you had no business eating all that food. Well, that's what I tried to tell him, but Red... Now, look here. You just be Red out of here. I made up my own mind. If I'm a gonna die, I'm gonna die with my boots on. And there ain't no law to stop a man from the way he wants to die. Now, is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? I guess he's got a point there, Doc. I don't set myself up as any kind of a medicine man, but I've noticed that some folks can't be cured according to Hoyle. The only occasions to get real sick is when they take time off to worry about what ails them. Yeah, that when their trigger finger gets out of killer or out of practice. What did you 
mistake. Anything serious? He got away before I could tell who he was. Mister, you sure got yourself in a pickle when you started sticking your nose in their business. A stole guard at Red One to his head. Oh, is everybody going to keep a secret? Just somebody blowing off steam. But when anybody gets mad enough to want to get even, they don't go around bragging about it ahead of time. Just the same. I don't want to be burnt out of house and home. I'm going to take it to the sheriff. Well, suit yourself. But I don't see any sense in wasting any more time on misguided nesters. How'd you make out? We find 60 head cows in East Lake, driving the Squawk Canyon. Did any of the other ranchers have their cattle there yet? Sure, heap many. They said bring more tomorrow night. Well, boys, see that your guns are clean. Looks like we'll be starting a big drive along about Tuesday morning. cutting any capers. Hey, Red! Red! Hey, Red! Fire just broke out at the Dutch's ranch. We haven't got enough men to get it under control. Well, how did it start? I don't know, but it's spreading to the buildings on Cooper's ranch. We're going to have to have help. Joe, tell Jackson to hold the cattle in the canyon. Leave one or two to help him and send the rest after us. Let's go, Sheriff. Jackson's got him head back in the canyon. 